What's, what's going on, guys? And welcome to a mini playthrough. And uh, those who have watched my streams know I have done a lot of content on Mario 2 before in the past. I've streamed Mario 2, I've streamed Tokyo Japan, I've streamed the Japanese Mario 2. Let's just say I've done lots and lots of content on Mario 2. So, in order to do even more content on Mario 2, why don't we just play through this game proper this time? So, um, after awakening Mario to a cave nearby, and to, and to his surprise, he saw when. I might as well read this uh, story from. I might as well read the story proper because it's gonna, just going to loop back to the title screen. So, um, basically, what we're going to do, we, what we're going to do now is read the story proper. So it's uh, when Mario opened a door after a long, climbing a long stair in his dream. Another world spread before him, and he heard a voice call for help to be free from a spell. After awakening, Mario went to a cave nearby, and to his surprise, he saw ex what, exactly what he saw in his dream. So, yeah, Mario 2 is a dream. So, yeah, so, uh, let's get this game started. So, uh, what we're going to do now is, uh, I'm going to demonstrate each of the, I'm going to use all these characters at least once, but let's just say, um, Mario is basically average controls. Like he has, uh, he has average running, picking, and uh, jumping. Luigi has average running and picking, but he's a high jumper. Toad's fast at running and picking, but he's not a very good jumper. And Princess and Peach is the uh, slowest at running and picking, but she can float. I'm gonna use Mario starting off. We're gonna use all these characters at least once, but um. Now um, I might as well tell you the I might as well tell you the real story of Mario 2, even though I have in my other content and I've also and it's common knowledge at this point, but uh the original the Japanese Mario 2 was like the first game, except ten times harder. So basically Nintendo of America demanded a more accessible sequel, so they took Doki Doki Panic, reskin it with Mario characters and items, and basically called it Mario 2 in America. That is a very commonly told story, so I don't need to elaborate much further on this, but um, I'm actually not used to using Mario, but I might as well show some things that aren't commonly known about this game. So um, basically, um, you, what you want to do, I just actually took a hit on stage one, but um, if you kill 10 enemies, you get a heart, and that increases your health. And if you get mushrooms, they increase your health. So, um, what you want to do it mainly is uh, pick up vegetables, because if you pick up 10, there's, there's the, uh, you see the thin vegetables, I forget what they're called, and there's the tulips. If you pick up, I think it's like five tulips like this, you'll get a stopwatch, and that freezes time. So, um, and if you get five cherries, you get the star. So, yeah, we got a stopwatch right there. If you get five tulips, you actually get the, st yeah, you actually can get the stopwatch. It's very controllable. And now, if you go over here, you can take the shortcut to Birdo. However, I think I'm going to do the stage the normal way, which honestly is a way that's rarely seen at this point. Most people just take the shortcut, but um, what we're going to do now is basically we're going to go in the uh, sub world. If you get the coins, you can do the slot game. I'll also demonstrate a trick with these slot games so you can get more lives, but um, yeah, honestly, like doing the stage the normal way, it's honestly rarely seen at this point. Like Most people just go for the Birdo shortcut. Anyway, so, and now, um, the most hard you can carry on the stage is, uh, four. It's actually five if you're playing the GBA port. Uh, it's actually an interesting port. I actually do like that port a lot, the Super Mario Advance port, but, um, yeah, we're not going to get another stopwatch. Basically, going to just rotate through each of these characters. My favorite character to use in this game is Toad because he runs the fastest and he digs the fastest so he can get through levels faster. He's just... Not a very good jumper, and that's his disadvantage. Anyway, so basically, every every at the end of most stages, you fight a Birdo. Now this is the pink Birdo. Basically, all they do is shoot eggs. But later, we're gonna see harder variants of Birdo. I'm not exactly the most used to using Mario. Now I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a trick with the slot game. I've already ex demonstrated my streams, but um. Believe it or not, it's actually pretty controllable on where you can get the cherries. So pay attention to when the uh, cherries show up. They show up every few frames and it's consistent. So, um, I got that cherry right there. If you, you, you want to time it every time the cherries show up. 
Like that. We got five up. So, um, if you can time it to when the cherries show up every few frames, you can get the cherries every single time. That's even why I chose to play the NES version, but this only has two continues. I didn't get a cherry there, but, um, I am actually, those who have watched my streams know I am pretty good at getting the cherries. Got two up right there. If you get one cherry, it's a one up. If you get two cherries, it's a two up, and three cherries, it's a five up. We got a one up right there. We're gonna get. We're gonna try to see if we can farm as many lives as possible because the, this version of Mario Two only has two continues. I got a five up right there. I got two up right there. I'm, I'm not always good at timing all three cherries. I'm mainly good at doing the first one, so I'm guaranteed a one up. Got 20 lives, and uh, we're gonna switch to Luigi, which um, Luigi is definitely a broken character because he jumps the highest. He can pull off a lot of shortcuts, let's just say. I'd say same with the princess, more so Luigi because uh, let's just say he jumps farther, let's just say. We're gonna, um, the only problem, the, I'd say Luigi is a high jumper. I do like using Luigi in this game, but, uh, he, I'd say he's, he's average in terms of vegetable plugging. Yeah, I'd say he's not much, he's basically Mario with a higher jump. Now, if we go down here, we get a one up, but let's just say, um, I guess we're gonna do the stage of normal, which honestly is another way, way, way it's, it's another thing that's rarely seen. Most people just use Luigi, just go for the shortcut, but, um, and no tulips right there. If you have five tulips, you basically, uh, you can get a, uh, if you have five tulips, you can basically get a, uh, stopwatch. So it's, it's, uh, if you want to get as many stopwatches as possible, I'd say just pick up every vegetable possible. Everyone you see, basically. Okay, it's gonna be bomb, then bomb, then, uh, This is gonna be another, uh, give me another mushroom. Believe it or not, with the underground section, I've heard some of the beta version of like Mario 2 with like, um, what am I trying to say? The, uh, I've heard some of the beta version of Mario 2 with the underground section. It sounds very different, actually. It's like Mario 3. Now, actually, hold on a second. Yeah, if you can last long enough with a star, you can flat out insta-kill Birdo, which we just did right there. All right, we got one cherry. Oh, two cherries, but, um... Wow, we actually failed right there, but, uh... One cherry. Two cherries. Three cherries. Now we're actually gonna switch it up and uh, use the uh... I'd say uh, I'm gonna save Toad for the next level, but um... Basically um... The princess is the slowest at running and vegetable plucking and she's not a very good jumper, but the appeal of the princess is that she can float. I'm personally not the biggest fan of using the princess personally because like I said, she's the slowest at running and vegetable plucking. She's a very good beginner character because she can float, let's just say. Like, she can float across platforms. Um, I'd, say she's a, I'd say she's a good character to use if you're going through Mario 2 for the first time. However, she's not a very good player for veterans of the game. Like, I'm mainly going... I'm taking the vegetable plot from here because you can get another mushroom. And we're not going to get many chances at lives because... Can we get all the coins? Yeah. That's my biggest problem with the princess says she's the slowest at vegetable plucking. Actually gonna uh, we're gonna do this normally. We're not gonna do any warps. We're gonna do this legit. I'm just not used to using the princess. Normally I just use Toba. I want to showcase every character at least. If you uh, I haven't really demonstrated that, explained this, but if you uh, press down for a long period of time, you can do a jump on. 
Believe it or not, like, those who have seen, like, when I streamed Doki Doki Panic would know this, but there are some notable differences between Mario 2 and Doki Doki Panic. One of the biggest differences between this and Doki Doki Panic is that Doki Doki Panic does not have a run button, which can make some jumps in that game a little more awkward, let's just say. Say, um, this is, I'd say this is either going to be a six part. I'd, I'm not sure how many parts it's going to take. I'd say this is either going to be a six part or a seven parter. Either way, I want to do. A, I want to try to. This is kind of an experiment because I want to try to see if I can do some more more shorter playthroughs. But um, we're not going to insta kill Mauser. Don't worry about it. But uh, we're going to. We're basically going to fight Mauser. And you basically have to catch the bombs and throw it back at him. I'm a little awkward doing this with the princess because I wasn't running. I'm usually just... Toad can actually obliterate bosses because he's the fastest at throwing. Yeah, three hits and Mouse is dead, so... Um, and we're going to try to see if we can grind some more lives. Cherry, cherry, free cherry. Two cherry and three cherry. Remember, it's every few frames the cherry shows up. Try a prize on your own. You want to hit the A button when the cherry shows up. I say that as I fuck it up, but uh. Yeah, it's every few frames that cherry shows up. Like that. If you can time it, you can get a fuckload of lives, let's just say. You have 47 lives. And we might as well, might as well show off using Toad. I guess I'll do Worlds 1 and 2 in one video, but um... Now, Toad is by far my favorite character to use in this game. Because he is pretty broken, let's just say. Now, if you use Toad and you're running, Toad is already the fastest runner, first of all, but like, if you're picking up an enemy and, let's just, and you're running, Toad's running speed increases. So, because of that, actually, um, we're gonna start picking up an enemy and demonstrate, yeah. Toad's running speed increases if you pick up an enemy, let's just say. So, um, that's why a lot of speedrunners, believe it or not, use Toad and not Luigi. See, look, we're already at the pyramid. Now, I like to use Toad mostly on the digging stages because Toad's the fastest at digging, let's just say. Any digging stages, it's best to use Toad, or maybe even Mario, let's just say. But, uh, yeah, you want to use Toad on stages like this. Now, the, the door is actually on the left side, so I, I see us digging in a zigzag pattern. So, basically, um, the enemies can have to travel us like that. I guess I can end it off after this part of Mario 2. So uh, basically uh, what we're gonna do, this part I mainly wanted to showcase every character. Yeah, look at how fast Toad can obliterate a Birdo, let's just say. And I do not like that heart, that time into that heart, but uh, all right, let's more slots. All right, that was a two up right there. That was a five up. Now, remember, it's every few, every few frames the cherry shows up. There's a pattern to how frequently the cherry shows up. I've, I cannot elaborate this enough. Try this at home. Six lives. Now, I'm gonna cut it off this part of Super Mario Bros. 2, so next time on Super Mario Bros. 2, we're gonna try to see how what more we can do with this. See you guys then.